we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled Overcome the Many Influences in Life Through Diligent Meditation, Part 1 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples, given in Chinese and English, on May 5th, June 30th, and September 1st, 2019, New Land Ashram, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Thank everyone who involved in this beautiful meal. Thank God. Thank you, huh? This is how you may see that. How you see. I have your wife, Guru, and you need to hold them in the food. I have Niman Tango Jar and Dogu. Jain do, huh? You say, choosing the Sufu, huh? 他们有一些是不是住家人啊他太太坐在那里给他看<笑> 你就去给他们看就行了然后天天加一起的话法国的女信徒老师大概是帮忙了 然后他因为他跟他结婚跟一个女的结婚嘛然后他们也是很崇拜他都说也就叫做圣母了圣母就跟西欧罗宾的那个旁边的人女孩子一样叫圣母都叫圣母印度人他们真的比较单纯啊很
like Shia Robindo, I say example, Shia Robindo has a, a French a female assistant, and they, the disciple, the follower, also revere her and call her Holy Mother. Yes. And uh, so like Sri Ramakrishna, he also married uh, one girl before. And uh, they don't have any uh, physically uh, relation, just married. They were sleeping together, but no physical interaction. And later they don't sleep together, but still no physical interaction. And they also revere this wife of the Master, also call her Holy Mother. I saw many like that in India, not just married. Né? If I have one good one also, okay, but I don't have. <laughs> How do you say good taste? Basita Mida. How do you say taste good in Mongolia? Tamaste. Good. We take a hand in a juice more. Tell me. <笑>很多很多客人所以他们来看为什么啊然后就开始开了看不到简单的东西但是说他们也可以做啊哦那还有那个买肉的地方也开一家地方也是素食啊因为知道有很多人要吃素人要吃哦太好了非常好那声音非
，那个蒙古真正的蒙古那个带回来，把它盖下去就很快啊。也是东南下来，要盖那个，然后火锅也可以住旁边，那都很棒的。啊、那個、OK OK， 两个一个，<笑>啊，我喜欢那种。对，因为在喜马拉雅，我是住那些啦，徒物啊。不过也许这个比那个坚固吧，很漂亮。有没有照片？没照片。录影带什么？给我看看。又不用不用申请的，简单的，又保保温保暖，又又那个叫什么？又那个啊，经济的，懂不懂？啊，我喜欢那个。哎哎哎，冬天也不会不会冷。啊 ，OK OK OK OK。所以到目前我没有给他们盖房子在这里啊。那么意思说要盖这边盖那，我说不要不要。哦，住在山洞本来就有了。嗯。他那个地板，地板也弄得可以。吸那个湿气，所以里面一直维持很干燥。啊、哦，哪一种土这么厉害？它它是用这种瓷砖哦，但是上面没有弄弄弄亮，没有弄亮的、嗯，所以它会自动调整那个湿气。哦，哦欸、当然。哎、欸，那很棒。哎、欸、，OK。所以它得到新意。OK、欸。那那个我们卡币有没有权利可以卡币？我们是想说说，假如可以的话，我们就去请教他，他是怎么盖的，那我们就。依照他的方式来盖盖。OK， 如果他允许的话，我们考虑一下。要问，我想他很乐意啊。要自然，对，我我觉得就是像我们古代的那些一样啊。我越南呢，以前都是用土盖的，用土，然后混一点那个这个干的那些稻米啊，那些稻稻草了，稻壳稻草。不是稻壳，他们稻草，稻草，哎，草的，干的稻草，哎，它就结构就米米它拿走了嘛，嗯、剩下那个给给鸟吃那些啊，再把它呃混跟泥土在一起啊，然后他们弄一个像啊，棒布啊，棒布什么？竹子，竹子那些小小的，一边一边这样弄弄成，一边起来，一边起来，然后他们土就土在那晒在那个洞里面这样子。然后外面他们就用泥土都来，来弄扁，都弄弄平平这样子，哎，跟水泥一样。啊，然后然后上面要有那个，那个也是稻草的那屋顶那些啊，我是不同的草的屋顶，哎，也都是这样子啊。是啊，它不会滴水。哎，很方便。震动还震动一样的舒服，但是它嗯不会滴。这个就没有屋顶哈，他们就。啊，是。啊，是一个圆的，啊，不不规则的形状。了解了解，他随便弄给自己用嘛。那个圆的更好啊。哎，也很漂亮。圆就要要要耐风嘛，风它就不会弄倒了。因为没有任何，它是他本人的吗？哦，不是，是它是里面的哈。里面的。啊，也有。里面的形状，然后外面这个是外面的形状。哎呀 ，OK OK。然后加现在的形状。现在的啊，对，这些是需要的，嗯，因为比较。比较安全了、啊，比较好好关好开，比较好擦洗。嗯 ，OK， 该现代就现代嘛，该该该防保就防保，这些我、哦、好喜欢。啊，里面是什么？里面是室内、啊，但是弯来弯去。啊。就接来接去，它是这样一拢，又接一拢，接它中间就是，它这边比如说这边是。卧室，那这边是客厅、啊，这边跟我们住的差不多。对对对,对。你会觉得是住在山洞里面，啊、但是它光又很充足。哦，看起来很像我的洞。很通风，很充足这样。嗯。哎，不错。嗯。不错，哪里？会会将一些照片再拍回来给你看。哎，这里有啊、哦。这里这里。嗯，啊，里面很舒服，看我山洞呢，很香哎，很香我山洞里面。墙壁很厚。那个比较好，我山洞不好。很很温暖。啊，知道。不热。哦，知道，我山洞不太好，因为他们弄薄薄的，好像里面是空心的。是。怎么有草草？它里面有有声音。是是空心的，太薄了，所以那个水啊，雨太多它挖洞。哦，不是，这这。以前以前呢、啊，那个那个墙被被那个鱼挖一个洞很大，谁都跑出去，跟水龙头开一样，两个。嗯 ，OK， 我喜欢就是冬暖夏凉、薄薄防薄那些了。谢谢大家 ，Thank you，Thank you for your visit。哇 ，eat everything the the kitchen will be very happy。Yeah， that's mean a compliment。Yeah， thank you， see you。Tchau, tchau.
Bambino. I'm going now. Thank you. Yesterday, I came out of a uh, hiding place, and uh, the assistant seemed to not be able to have time to eat. So we went looking for uh, a place. And then uh, we find a Vietnamese vegetarian restaurant. I saw a big monk come in, my four times my size, maybe three times. So I thought he, he has enough reserve and well taken care of, so I should not make offering to him. This is the first time I ever thought like that. Uh, he was eating with his maybe believer or disciple or maybe family. I thought he was well taken care of. And then I was thinking maybe I should give. But then when I thought already, he left. So I was uh, kind of scolding myself. I said, ah, how come you, Supreme Master, still so discriminate between <laughs> the skinny and the fat monk? You, you say you just offer to any monk. Okay, so he left already and I don't know why somehow I didn't chase him because he has also other people with him. And then so I sit there scolding myself like that. And then another nun come in. I say, next time, I say to myself, next time, no matter how big he is, <laughs> even eight times my size, I still will make offering. And then my, uh, my wish came true. Another monk come in. <laughs> oh, I thought, wow, how lingo. How effective my wish <laughs> my <laughs> immediately came. And then I immediately make offering before my brain might interfere and make trouble. <laughs> so we should actually never make any discrimination like that, yeah? Hmm. But the Vietnamese restaurant was so good, my God. Ah, all the best. Tastes so good. I don't know if I ever have chance to bring you there to eat. But just listen to me and enjoy. <laughs> the food in that Vietnamese restaurant is really good. And they're so clean and so nice and so sweet. The people, they finally realize who I am and then begin asking questions. So we run. <laughs> Nam Sagu, he was really something, huh? He did not practice uh, light and sour at that time, but he knows everything about it. That's, that's amazing. Yo 然後這個小學生就在下面又寫著說 <笑> 然後世界和平 什麼要能吃苦要能吃苦<笑> 我跟他整理好幾次<笑><笑> 
，要很能吃，然后擦一个苦味，这个很好，这个很简单不？<笑>如果没有苦味就咖啡嘛，咖啡生的吃下去就更苦，那样。啊，不用喝了，吃剩的才更苦。<笑>师傅嘛，他他叫那个学生啊，要爬一百尺那种竹根有没有？然后他就天天爬了，嗯，天天不是叫他练习，到他能够爬到那个竹子最竹根最高那个顶上才为止。啊，他说他说好好回去。一个礼拜以后，他师傅问他，你能爬到哪里？他说三分之二了，师傅。说你怎么这么快呢？一个礼拜就到三分之二，那个竹根不好爬呢。啊，他就在一个阶梯方的，<笑>爬到三分之二就就不能上了，因为还有，哎，没有阶梯这么高。<笑>哎呀，他师傅问怎么那么高呢？怎么能那么快？他说还有可以更快的，就是阶梯太短了一点。<笑> Our lives are governed by many things, not just the, the food we eat or the water we drink. The moon and star and all other planets also have influence on us. When we uh, are initiated to practice quaning method, it's a little better, yeah? Only the celestial body that near us then can influence us some, yeah? But if we practice diligently, then only karma of the past and the, I mean in the karma that we have to pay in this lifetime can influence us, yeah? Other celestial body cannot, okay? But we still can be influenced by many things if we don't practice enough, even the food we eat. And if you are a master, that doesn't mean you're free from all the influence. It's not true. Even if the master is free from all the influence, from what he, she eat or do still the disciples' uh, karma and disciples' influence by other factors still can influence the master as well. So many things we eat are making trouble for our lives as well. Uh, even the bathroom, the toilet that we built in the wrong place also influence our marriage, our business, our relationship with uh, wives, kids, and outside friends. This is a, not a good place to be, this place, the planet. But it's a beautiful place to train yourself to be loving and kind, yeah? Because many, many beings who don't have good karma born into this kind of planet. And we are here if we have some power, meditating power, Blessing power, we can share it automatically or willingly, it depends. So if some things go wrong in the family, it doesn't always mean your wife doesn't love you or your husband doesn't love you. It could be influenced by other factors outside your house. Or sometimes even if you plant a tree in the wrong place, <laughs> also have trouble for your business or your relationship. And sometimes you eat something. Mm, let me remember. <laughs> I know too many things, but I don't tell you because <laughs> if I tell you everything, you have nothing to eat <laughs> and nothing to drink except water. <laughs> okay? Some, some are bad, worse influence. Some are just bad, some are benevolent, some okay. So even if we are vegans, we don't eat anything from the animals. We eat only, only plants and fruit. We still can have trouble from the food that we eat. Let me remember which one for the public. Some are just for me, okay? Some for everyone. Uh, for example, the black grapes that you love so much. They are also not very favorable for your peace. It's not because the, the, the juice or anything make you drunk, the wine and all that. No, it's even the, the fresh grapes, the black one or the purple one, they will evoke 
some karma from the past life or from this lifetime, from your uh, previous enemies. It depends on what kind of enemies you have. It might not uh, invoke the enemy revenge or harming you if it's, if it's long, many lifetimes before, but some lifetime near to you, maybe five lifetimes before this life. If you were born here before and have some enmity with somebody, yeah, and if you eat that, that somebody, if he's here right now in, on this planet with you same time, or if he somewhere still uh, uh, nearby the planet, yeah, maybe in astral level or something, then he can even uh, attack you without you knowing it. And your life suddenly become uh, chaotic or have problem with uh, your family or with your health. It depends on what kind of enemy you have. Some can attack your health, some can attack your family, some can attack your love life, or your children, anything would happen. And that's just one example. And I don't dare to tell you anymore. Because if I tell you, you will not eat anything. <laughs> even some vegetable, vegetable, even some vegetable fruit, something that you eat mostly every time with salad, it also can make trouble for you. But it's, it's a generally speaking only, you see? So I cannot, they are not tell everyone. Because maybe you have enemy five lifetimes before, she doesn't. And if I happen to tell you, oh, if you eat this, your enemy will attack you, then she does not dare eat it also. But it has nothing to do with her. <laughs> her enemy maybe six lifetimes before. <laughs> or maybe five and a half. <laughs> you know, for example, even cucumber. Even many, are, just the cucumber is the thing you always snacks, you know, during the meal or before. And with salad, you know. Being a master is more difficult because I have to avoid many things. So they have better relationship with you. Otherwise, maybe half of the meditation hall will be empty <laughs> in one hour. <laughs> it's very difficult to live in this life. Okay? Not just because you have bad feng shui only. Yeah? Not only because you're married to a enemy zodiac sign, you know, like a tiger, monkey, or <laughs> monkey snake. Or for example, you know, that's what I say. These are the people who are, you know, contradict each other, and no good. Not only because of that, and not only because your child is born in a sign that is uh, in, unfavorable to you, as a zodiac calculation. Not only that, in Chinese, as a uh, Fu Chi Ke, and the husband is Ke, the wife, meaning it's, it's not, uh, not compatible. Yeah, not compatible, but also harmful, for example, like that. Not only that, only many other things. And your stars, the stars in heaven that influence your life, that is governing your, some aspect of your life. And some fruit you eat, anything at all, anything at all. It is a miracle that you can live in this life having less trouble. Nobody can say that he has no trouble. <laughs> okay? Small or big, we all have trouble in some way, you know? Sometimes suddenly you just got sick. You don't know why. Yeah, you say karma. Yeah, but it may not be. It could be karma also that to make you eat that. <laughs> and then you have pain. Yeah. Some fruit will give me sickness. And immediately. It's not for everybody. Okay? It's not... Some of my favorite food I cannot eat even. For example, like, like a sukwa. The one that's a little long, yeah, and inside very smooth. We call it silk gurk in Chinese. Lufa? When you make the sponge from? Lufa, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when they are older and hard, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, lufa. For example, that. If I eat that, I get sick. Okay? Sick with a digestive problem. I never had that before. Because before I didn't have enough disciple. <laughs> now I already take in a lot. So every little thing 
affect me. OK， 所以厨房听懂嗨，我送东西很多回来，不是你们煮不好，了解了。我不想讲，因为怕把你们不煮给大家吃。<laughs> I don't dare say anything. I just say a couple of example for you to know. So if I send back to the kitchen some fruit, something I don't eat,、uh, it's not only because I eat too much already, I, I eat enough, but because something I'm not agreeable to my Spiritual body, okay.、Yeah. I use everything I have spiritually to help you, so I don't save enough for myself. I rather forsake, forego the food or the fruit instead, and I save that. Even every little bit help everyone else. Understand? Just like if I don't spend this one one dollar, I keep saving it. I have ten dollars. And maybe I can give a boy outside when he hungry. He can eat something. Just、uh, immediately fill himself up with the food and energy. And then maybe next day he has better luck. You see, and then he can take care of himself. So in this lifetime, for you also, it's not easy to have always smooth sailing in your life because many things influence you. Because you practice, you feel your life much better. Yeah, a lot of miracles happen and things, big thing become small. Yeah, big trouble become small. Small trouble become none. And this is okay, very good. Yeah, but trouble don't always come from your karma. Well, in a way, it does because maybe the karma leads you to eat that thing that day, and normally you wouldn't have this trouble. But because you eat that, it's a catalyst to. <laughs> To make trouble for your life, understand now? For that moment, yeah. So sometimes your wife, your kids behave so erratically, some unusual things. You just wait, meditate, give them blessing, yeah. Share your merit. Then, when that hour, when that minute, that hours pass by, you will be okay. He will be back to usual self. Even between parents and children, between husband and wives, you don't always have good selling. Not just because of her character or your personality, we are just a victim of anything, 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 anything at all. So try to meditate so you can sell over it. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no way I can tell you. Okay, don't eat that. Don't eat this. Then I have to prescribe each one of you <laughs> special menu because each one of you different, different karma, different enemies. You understand? Different、uh, physical、uh, makeup, yeah. Different background, different meditation diligence, different level of、uh, consciousness. Then I don't have time for anything. I just sit here and write you one, you, 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 and it's not that easy even, you know. Like doctor, he has to listen to your heart, your lung, and I think then prescribe something. I was sick before, and they said try this first. If it doesn't work, after all the X-ray and listen to my heart, my lung, my nose, my ear, everything already, try this first. I say it works, doctor. We'll try. You know, if it doesn't work, we we will make another one, <laughs> just like that. And my medicine piled up like a mountain on the table. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. It's like that. This table will be full from the end to the other, and heap up like that. All the medicine that later on found out that's that's wrong, and left over. Not not just all of them together. Left over. I should have taken a photo and <laughs> showed it to you whether all these things are too negative. I don't even want to to remember. Yeah, one time I was very sick. It's like that. So、uh, even doctor, you know, they learn so many years、uh, and experience with so many thousands of patients. They still don't know. This is a big hospital that I have been to. Many big hospitals, and all the doctors still cannot have clue what's wrong with me. I have to wear what you call it, this kind of thing, collar and thing like that already, and every little move hurts. But they did not even find out that I have some broken bone inside, and they have X-ray and everything. So many doctors, you can't blame them. It's a karma, you know. I have to go through. Finally, one of your doctor in Taiwan suspect 
the real cause of it. And then uh, they suspect that, and then they send me to another hospital. And then the doctor say, immediately, must operate. And then a different medicine. And then after two years, I recover. Yeah. Now it's gone, I can tell you, okay? A little bit, not, not everything. Uh, in Mexico, Cancun, I was still under treatment. I could not walk. If it's flat, I can walk. But if it's going down the stairs or up a little bit, I need somebody to help me. Even a can is not enough. I could not even get up from the bed. I have to have a medical bed. That you push a button and the, the bed slowly, slowly rise up halfway. Then I can sit up. I could not even sit up. Too much pain. Twenty doctors could not find the problem until the end, when I almost <laughs> kaput already. Luckily, they found it on time. They just a little bit more time, then either I be half paralyzed or dead. Yeah. So even doctor want to prescribe something to you, even ten, twenty experienced doctor, they are not. Bad doctor, it's just the karma covered it. Truly, gotta take x ray also. If the doctor, the last doctor can see it, then the previous doctor should have been able to see it, but no, they didn't. And then they sent me from one machine to another, one room to another. Anyway, finally, it's okay. Yeah. Otherwise, that year I should have been gone already. Yeah, I still live a little longer. Hmm. Maybe some, some of you pray or something. <laughs> thank you, uh, any of you who pray for me at that time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for you that I'm still here. <laughs> you still can see me. So, um, so what I mean is uh, to prescribe for each of you, you know, what to eat and not to eat is impossible. It's impossible. It takes my whole lifetime. For one person, even to detail, I have to spend at least three days. At least. Uncomplicated, normal. Uh, not too complicated. If complicated, maybe 30 days. Yeah. Better don't know nothing. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. So, but I do take care of myself wherever I can. Huh? So if I send back something, please don't think that I... Uh, I don't eat because I don't taste good. If I don't taste good, I just put some soy sauce or, or hot sauce, then it tastes good right away. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the chili cover everything. <laughs> so you don't taste good or not good. <laughs> okay, then, now you know. Just try to meditate more, okay, to counter all this obstruction and trouble in your life. Some of the food also poisonous. Don't ask me why a very uh, innocent looking grapes, you know, are so bad like that. The, you evoke your enemy to revenge on you, to, to attack you, to give you big trouble or small trouble, it depends. Each thing on this planet has spirit inside, okay, has their function. Okay? Like the sun. <laughs> Don't ask me why it's hot. It's just like that. The fire is hot. Okay? So you, if you don't like it, then you sit further away or avoid making fire. Okay? The same. So if any fruit, any fruit no good for you, you don't eat that. So if you eat some fruit or some food several times, every time you, you watch it, okay? Every time you feel not easy, meditate not well, or something happened bad, then maybe next time don't eat, huh? Okay? But don't try too many times, then you have nothing except rice and, uh, and soya sauce. <laughs> and then blame me, huh? Never mind, just recite the five names. Thanks all involved, visible and invisible, for your beautiful food. Okay? Let it nourish your body and your spiritual uh, body. Okay? Like, like that. Thank you and eat in all love and faith. Yeah? All right. Each one has their own quality and function. Na? So even just a small little pill like this, it stops your pain. 
because they put ingredients in there which come from plants and fruit and sometimes trees, you know, right? And even sometimes from animals, yeah? But we, don't, we avoid not to, okay? So what I mean is that, similar like that, every little thing, flowers or food or fruit, does have their special quality. So in that way, it affects you because we are all connected, even though you don't see it. That's why you eat that, you connect with that. Yeah, and your enemies happen to connect with that. And then you're in trouble. Okay? So there's nothing like superstition or nothing like that. It's all logical and scientific. Hmm? So even some little plant, very small but poisonous. If you eat it, you die. Hmm? Hmm. So some plant is beneficial. If you eat it, your fever is gone, like quinine, also plant. Yeah, and in Chinese medicine, they take only from, from herbs and from plants, from trees. You understand? Okay? For example, like that, huh? So some fruit or food, especially it's just for some different uh, species. Like, for example, the koala, huh? The very cute, cuddling, Australian little climbing uh, black and white animal is very docile and sweet in the daytime, but nighttime don't try to go too near, okay? Yeah, daytime they're inactive, right? Nighttime they're aggressive, okay? But that's not to talk about that, huh? Just by the way, they eat these um, eucalyptus bark or leaves, yeah? They're okay. Don't try. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, panda, uh, they eat only bamboo. Bamboo tree, bamboo root, bamboo big, bamboo small, bamboo leaves. Can you? <laughs> you cannot digest it. Yeah, even if you can. So don't try to put it in a blender and, uh, <laughs> because you want to look cute like a panda. <laughs> Blender uh, or chop, 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 make it into powder and drink. No, <laughs> you cannot digest, not uh, like panda. They eat that, they can digest, but you cannot. There are many other species which can eat something which is very poisonous to us. They can digest, we just cannot. And that is that. There's nothing we can do about it. I don't have to <laughs> try to do anything about it, okay? We have plenty of the food to eat. That's what I meant, okay? Even tofu is poisonous. Many people cannot eat it. Even bread with the gluten, poisonous. Many people cannot eat it. If they eat, they get sick. Okay, in different way. They're itching or they're pain or a heart problem, anything. You understand what I'm saying? You know, many people cannot eat bread, right? With gluten, right? You know that. That's a fact you should know. If you don't know, you look in the internet. What I mean is that, okay? It's not like you should know, but if you want to verify what I'm saying is true or not, that's the way I explain it to you. Some food, some fruit are not suitable for humans and su not suitable for some humans or some animals. Like we love chocolate, right? All of us. I mean, most of us like it. But you cannot give it to your dog. It will poison him, make him sick. Yeah, for example. Or avocado cannot give to dog, even though it's very nutritious and full of protein and vitamin and phosphorus, whatever. But you cannot give to dog. Apples or apple seeds cannot. Yeah? You see what I'm saying? So furthermore, many food, many fruit, many vegetables are also unsuitable for many humans. Uh, for me also. It's true like that. Many people are allergic to many things including meat or vegetable of or fruit, yeah? A gluten or tofu. Some people cannot eat tofu. It's truly like that. And tofu is delicious for us, for many of us. But if you give it to someone, the seal, for example, they cannot digest. They will be sick, okay? It might burn their intestine or something like that. So this is a problem with our world. It's not because you eat vegan and then you guarantee a smooth selling all your life 24-7, okay? So we eat vegan because we are compassionate. But we try to minimize suffering uh, wherever we can. Plants also suffer. That's why the Buddha ate only once a day. 
and get, eat whatever given. Already cooked, he don't want to involve in any killing even a plant. And that's why all the master choose vegan, at least vegetarian. But different vegetarian, like in India, you see the cows roaming around free, everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes the car have to stop, wait for the the cow to have siesta finished, and then <laughs> and then drive through. Huh? He's still in his siesta, you know. Say uh, uh, His afternoon tea break, he sleep. All the car waiting, long queue in India. Wait until his siesta finished. I mean, uh, sleeping at noon, afternoon. Then he walks slowly out to the grass and then can drive. Nobody touched the cow at that time. At least the Hindu people, the Indian people, okay? Even if they eat meat, they don't hurt the cow. They don't kill it themselves. But maybe other religious followers will kill it for them. In Tibet also like that, they don't kill any lamp or any animal to eat. It's just there are some people who kill it. But if you eat, somebody has to, right? Some, some other religious people, they don't believe in not killing, so they do that as a job. I just, for example, master, they don't, if the really enlightened master, they don't eat meat, they don't eat fish, they don't eat anything that moves because of love for all beings, not because of, not because thinking that they're healthier or better, whatever, yeah, mostly for love, okay, for compassion. So even if you eat vegan, you try to eat uh, just enough, huh? don't eat just because it tastes too good or eat a lot, you know, maybe now and then, you know, wedding day you must or whatever. Mother-in-law cook, you cannot not eat. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Otherwise, try to eat just enough, okay, 80%, and then another 10% water, the rest is for the light, okay? Mm. Otherwise, <laughs> too full, <laughs> sleeping, <laughs> meditating very diligently. You sit there three hours. <laughs> okay, huh? So don't ask me why you are vegan and you're still sick. There's nothing you can avoid by being vegan. Except, of course, you feel healthier than before. Mm? But you must also uh, choose, you know, eat, uh, I mean, moderately, yeah, okay? And don't always eat the same thing all the time. In case it's too poisonous or or uh, it's uh, um, not compatible to you, and if you keep repeating, repeating, then it's even worse. It gets worse to your body, cannot... Uh, your resistance, your body resistance, okay? But of course some people do that and they're still alive because they have a lot of merit or maybe they have nothing, or that vegetable <laughs> or that thing have nothing against them. You know, there's no contradicting affinity, okay? But don't, don't think that is, is always like that. You must also eat variety is better, okay? And if you eat something and any time you eat that thing, is something wrong. Emotionally, spiritually or physically, then you should know, eh, avoid that thing, okay? I don't always have to <laughs> make my body a laboratory because I know. I check before I eat, you know, nowadays. Before, when you don't have a lot of karma, you don't have a lot of disciple. okay. But if you have a lot, then your body resistance is different, less than before. And you have to save your energy for, for your disciples and uh, for yourself, you yeah? know, enough, uh, not, not to overspend, okay? So that's like that. Now you know, huh? Any question about what you should eat tomorrow? <laughs> No? Wow, you're all enlightened. <laughs> so what should I do? I go now, okay? I have work to do. Good luck. Buddha bless you. God bless you. Mm -hmm.